Hi there, we're going to talk you now through how to create a um, landlord gas safety record in Anton Sprint Mobile. Uh, this is equally applicable in both the iOS um, or Apple version and also the Android version. Okay, so first thing you need to do is click on the Customers tab in the middle. Um, I've already created some reports here, some flue gas reports um, for this customer. Uh, obviously, you would normally need to do that. You take your, your, your um, flue integrity test, you do your, I'm, I'm talking about a high efficiency boiler here, so a low fire and a high fire. Um, but you can also add um, let by and tightness test if you've done one with your analyzer, so you can incorporate that. Um, operating or working pressure. Um, gas rate. Um, so let's, let's get into the detail of it. So I'm going to click on the reports um, button at the top, um, top right, and then I've got my list of reports here. Now, the the because I've just done the the job, if you like, it's the top four reports here that I can choose. So I can go and click on those three buttons, four buttons, sorry. Um, so the three flue gas analysis reports and the gas rate. Um, let's just undo those for a second. If you go into the filter um, button, which is the in the middle of the um, blue bar at the bottom there, um, you have got lots of choices. So GSR, Gas Safety Record Group, you can click that and it will only then list the flue gas analysis, gas rates, let by tightness, operating pressure and working pressure. So in other words, on visual inspections. So those are the reports that could um, provide data and populate the gas, uh, landlord gas safety record. Um, just to show you that as a nice feature. So... Um, I'm going to click OK. So there they are, they're still at the top of the list. Choose the four I want. And then the options button, bottom right, three little dots there. I'm going to click on that and then I can choose the type of report I want to fill out here. So there's lots of other reports in here. I'm going to show you the landlord gas safety record because it's probably the most popular one on here. But there's warning notices, service maintenance records, commissioning sheets, advice notices, all those sorts of things as well. So let's get into the details. So again, this is a landlord. I'm, I'm this fictitious landlord we're working on here. So I'm going to select the landlord option. Um, there's only one appliance. Obviously, if you link reports for more than one appliance, so maybe the cooker or whatever else is in the property, you'd have two tabs at the top and you'd have two lots of data to fill in. Um, but I'm going to just go through. So because we've linked it to that property, it's already taken in the fact of the location, the appliance type, the make and model of the um, unit. It's a high efficiency boiler. It's an a room sealed flu. So it's just literally like you do when you're filling out your traditional landlord gas safety record or CP12, some people call it. Um, you're going through and you're doing the tick box exercise. So yes, the appliance is inspected. Yes, it's a landlord's um, appliance. Because I've linked it to a gas rate um, that I've created within Sprint Mobile, it's automatically put that gas rate information in. Operating pressure, um, you can either manually type it in or if you again, if you've taken an operating pressure, you can click on the uh, analyzer button there and um, and it will um, basically uh, take it in from the report that you've created. Uh, safety devices, correct operation. Yes, I'm just going to rattle through these. You, you're used to filling out a landlord safety test. So um, Light serviced, yes. Safety is yes. I haven't produced a warning notice. So flu integrity test. If I click on the analyzer icon, I can choose here which one is my flu integrity test. And it's obvious from the list because it's the one with 20.9 oxygen. So that's nice, clean, fresh air. Um, because I'm talking about HE appliances, I can kind of ignore the initial and final. That's more if you've got a, you know an older style um, standard efficiency appliance. Uh, I'm going to choose the low fire um, ratio and that is the one with 9.6 and then I'm going to choose the high fire and that's the one with 9.1 on the CO2s again um, I haven't oh sorry yeah same thing um, I can add that we ha I haven't actually taken a, a pressure reading when I was doing these but uh, if you did those would be filled in there as well Zero alarm fitted, no in this property, um, so not applicable. Yes, they got smoke heat alarms and yes, they were tested and working. Any faults and notes I can add in here um, or any remedial work and then that would appear on the um, list. So, so there you go, you just put some text in there for the sake of it really. Same with the remedial work, you can do the same. 
Okay, then you've got the final page to finish this off. Um, this was emergency control accessible and passed. Tightness test. If you've done a tightness test and you've linked it from those um, reports at the start, it would automatically pass or fail that there, depending whether it was a passed or failed test, but let's say it passed. Um, similarly, let's just tick these off. Next inspection is due a year from today. And here you can either schedule yes or no whether you want to put that into your calendar to remind you to get in touch with this customer to book another appointment to do the, the, the annual service next year. Um, I'll leave that a no. And then again, we can, there you go, add a bit of text if you want to for your engineer's notes. Click finish. And now, actually, I'll just take that filter off. Uh, all. Okay. Um, now at the top of the list, we've got the the CP2 hours we're calling the landlord certificate. So if I click on that, there you are. I show you what it looks like. So all of your flue gas readings are in here. Obviously, all of your um, site data, your data, the the um, the, the customer data, um, and then obviously if you had more than one appliance, you can have up to five, just like a normal report. That all goes in here with with all your readings and what have you. Um, it's been pre-signed by, oh, and any notes that you've made on the appliance, there you go, there they appear, and equally on the second page, your engineer's notes. So you can see you can get quite a lot of text in there should you choose to. This one's been pre-signed by me, and then gas is not present on that particular one, but again, if you want them to, you can get the customer to sign these reports. Um, once you've got that there, you can then click on that, click email, and send it on to your customer. Hopefully that's useful. Um, many thanks for your time.